Hey, welcome back. So for this video, we're going to make this PVC pipe T connector. So in this situation, I already measured this out. These are all the dimensions that I'll be using. So for the inner diameter, we'll have a value of 1.050. And the distance between the inner diameter and the outer diameter will be a value of 0.134. So let's go ahead and get started on our right side view. So in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and go to my right side. I'm going to create a sketch. Make sure you're in inches, by the way. Once again, convert your units to inches. I'm going to create my first circle here, centered at the origin. And this inner diameter will have a value of 1.050. So 1.050. I'm creating another circle. The distance between the two circles will be 0.134. Let's go ahead and add that in. So click on both circles and add the dimension of 0.134. Now we accept this drawing. So now we're selecting extrude. We're clicking in between both circles. We're going to select symmetric. And then for our distance, we'll be using a value of 2.63. So go ahead and put 2.63. Let's accept. For our next drawing, we're going to add another plane. So go ahead and select plane. Select offset. For entities, select this top view. And we're going to offset. We're offsetting this at a distance of 1.251. So go ahead and type this out as 1.251 and hit enter. Accept. Now we're going to go to our top face. We're going to select a new sketch. This will be on the new plane that we just created. And we're now creating another circle. Let's go ahead and create two circles. All right. So once again, our inner circle will have a value of 1.05. So let's include this here. So one point. 0, 0.05. The distance between both circles is 0.134. So let's go ahead and add a distance between these two circles of 0.134. And we're going to accept this. So before we continue, we need to find a tool that is called Offset Surface, so it's right next to our Plane tool. So select this drop-down menu and make sure you select Offset Surface. We're going to click on this inner surface of the tube. And notice we're offsetting it with a value of zero. Go ahead and accept. So now notice we created another surface down here that we can toggle on and off. We'll keep it on for now. So now we're going to go ahead and click on Extrude. Let's select this surface here. And we're going to select Add. We're going to reverse the direction. And we're going to select Up to Face. And we're selecting this blue face right here. And go ahead and accept. Notice we still need to create our cavity here. So create another extrusion. Select Remove. We're going to need to see our sketch number two. If we sketch number two, let's hide our part one. So let's select this space right here from sketch number two. And now we're going to select the blind up to face. And we select this surface here. So this is surface number one. And now if we view our part number one, notice we start not done. We need to select merge with all and go ahead and accept. And now if we hide our surface number one, we can see that we created our cavity and this is our PVC T connector. Anyways, thanks for watching and try out the other videos.